Welcome, Welcome to, to Wonderlust. Wonderlust. I'm Millie. And I'm John T. And today we've come to Chinatown. It's our first Chinese New Year actually living in Singapore, so we've come to Chinatown to see what's going to be happening this year. Things are a little bit different, but I'm sure it's going to still look pretty special. is the year of the ox and I think everybody's hoping that it's going to be a little bit easier than it was last year. They've got some displays down the middle, there's all lanterns, it's a super hot day so we're ducking in and out of the shade but it's really nice to see what's going on here. Chinese New Year you often see lots of pineapples, there's pineapple tarts being sold and given as gifts as well in Hokkien. Um, it means like the new year welcoming blessings and fortune. Chinese are a superstitious bunch and so you'll see a lot of red around this time of year. It's known as a lucky colour, so new outfits will be red, you'll wear yeah, red clothing, you'd have red cushions at home, you've got these little red packets that you'd give out with money in them and they're all just a sign of good luck. These are like a childhood favourite, um, Chinese sausages, they're kind of dried and cured um, and they're a bit sweeter, delicious. We're at Chinatown Food Street, I really like this food street, there's lots of different things have, we're just grabbing some drinks because it's really hot, this place is covered, there is nice big fans at the top as well. It's a really nice place to walk through, there's beautiful shutters, it's a really nice atmosphere and in the evening as well when all the lights come on it's really nice down here. We've had a few meals down here and it's always been really good. Happy New Year in Chinese. custom at Chinese New Year when you go and visit another household that you take um, a gift like some sweets, some confectionery, some oranges so we're going to take these to grandparents when we visit them this week. These amazing wall paintings are depicting the different types of coffee in Singapore, from the more traditional kopi to the more modern coffee. With Chinese New Year coming up real soon, we decided to get my kids, uh, our kids, some outfits and. Uh, I actually have a split heritage, one of Peranakan heritage and one Teochew and this year we've decided that we're going to get the kids some traditional Peranakan outfits for Chinese New Year. We found this beautiful shop on Arab Street. It was a treasure trove of embroidered fabrics, beautiful hand printed designs and sparkling jewels. fit we had to try in a few different sizes and then the hardest part deciding which design you want. I pick red. Traditional to have contrasting kabaya and sarong, and the ladies were so kind as they measured Aspen for her outfit. I was really excited 
excited about my turn to choose and be measured for my very first Saron Kobaya. I've never worn anything like this before and I took pride in embracing my husband's heritage. I've never worn a traditional sarong before and so the lady kindly showed me how to put it on. After a last minute change of mind on my kabaya design, the ladies measured me up for a complimentary custom fit. I'm looking forward to wearing my sarong kabaya for Chinese New Year celebrations. When I was growing up in the UK, we kept a few, not many, but a few of the Chinese New Year traditions. Uh, of those, probably wearing a bit of red. Uh, sometimes we wear kind of traditional outfits. Um, definitely my sisters would wear a chong sum every now and again. Um, and we would uh, always give out red packets, um, ung pao's or hong bao's, which are these little red envelopes which are filled with money, uh, which the older people, the older generations, or married couples give to the children or the single people. So. We're not receiving any this year, but our kids will. <laughs> <laughs> um, along with those was always the Chinese New Year snacks, um, and they always came with, with the red, uh, red lids on the tubs, <laughs> and no Chinese New Year is complete without pineapple tarts. Yeah, we love pineapple tarts, so we thought we'd have a go at making them for ourselves, so here's how we got on. We're making pineapple tarts! <laughs> Blunt my... Pineapple tarts for Chinese New Year, so we've got to make pineapple jam first. No, 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 no. What? You've got it upside down. <laughs> so this. Yes. Loads of juice coming out. Now we just got to turn down. the pineapple into jam. And how do you think you're going to do that? Have a think. Get some jam and put it in. <laughs> um, <clears throat> we're going to put it on the stove and then we've got to keep stirring it and stirring it until it dries out a bit and then we can add some sugar and lemon juice. What's cooking? It's making bakute for dinner. It's um, pork ribs, macaroni nice, kind of peppery, garlicky soup. It's one of the dishes I love to cook, especially in the week, because you can just stick it all in a pan and then just leave it for a couple of hours and then add some rice and dinner's ready. No fuss. Okay, we've got to cook this until it goes sticky, sticky. It looks sticky. You're going to tell me about the, how many onions you have to buy. Onions? Oh, it looks sticky. This is a lemon. It's sticking to So I needed one lemon for the recipe, and then when I went to the supermarket, it says five for the price. So I had to buy five, and I just needed one. So if anyone wants to make lemonade, I've got plenty of lemons. for about 10 minutes. Feels a lot longer than that. I don't really know how long this is going to take. The recipe that I've got doesn't say, it just says continuously stir until there's no more liquid left. Still stirring. <laughs> the advantage of you having an edited version is that you haven't had to stand here for a very long time <laughs> just waiting, being told to wait so that you can film. Count yourselves lucky. You love, you love my company. So, how's it going? I've, I've got no idea, if I'm honest. I just googled how long does it take to make uh, pineapple jam. One recipe said put the sugar in straight away. The other the recipe I'm following says put the sugar in after it's um, started to get rid of all the moisture. If I turn the heat up, it spits at me and then it burns. So, <laughs> it's like 20 minutes now of mixing. No, it's not. 30 got, minutes no. mixing. It's nearly half six now. No, the kids have abandoned me. I'm supposed to be going to bed soon as well. Looks like I'm going to be making these all on my own. I'm going to go read a book. <laughs> so I thought I'd have a look of another recipe and it says be prepared to stand by the stove for two to three hours. So... Yeah! <laughs> It has reduced down a lot. Most of the liquid has gone, so I think we're ready to add the sugar now. I'm <laughs> a bit of a messy show. Two hours later, 
It's looking quite jammy. <sighs> I wish you could smell it. It's nearly ready. Tomorrow we're going to make the pastry. It's almost been three hours now, but it's sticking to the spoon, so I'm going to go with that it's done and it should be sticky enough to roll into a ball. We are making the pastry. together. We had to leave a lot of our things in the UK so somewhere my scales are packed in the UK so I've converted it to cups and hopefully that's right. So we're gonna add some flour and then it should start to come together. Squeeze, 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 Go wrap it up, put it to bed. Okay, so I realised with the first bit of dough they would seem to be getting bigger and bigger and they should be small little bite size. making the pineapple tarts. It was fun to make something new and to teach the children a little bit about their heritage and history as well for Chinese New Year. They were really tasty. I thought they Very were yummy. Yeah, a little bit dry, so I'm looking forward to having another go because we've got lots of jam left after making it for three hours. Yeah, we're going to make a few more and give some to some of our friends and family as we celebrate Chinese New Year. Um, over the next few days, really, we're really, really looking forward to seeing some family who we haven't had the chance to see uh, since we arrived. I just wanted to say thank you to all of those of you who uh, wished me well last week when I wasn't feeling uh, brilliant and uh, it was like the COVID test was horrible but it was good to know that I'm clear and um, I really really appreciated all your care and just lovely lovely messages. We hope you enjoyed this week's episode and that just leaves us to say to you, Sing Yun Kuala! Kuala.